Francine, describe again some of the moments that you're feeling and seeing there on the ground. Hi, Taylor. Look, this was a queen that was loved, right? For decades, Queen Elizabeth was really a figure of national pride. She was, what, a symbol of continuity, of stability, and she was respected around the world. So this is something that will endure. Uh, the next 10 days, I think, will be extremely tough. They will be extremely moving. We'll have a lot of tears. Um, I walked, actually, outside where I was next to Buckingham Palace, and it was like a wake. People were coming from all over. You did hear... Uh, you know, all ages with flowers, people were very demure. Now, what happens in the next 10 days? There have been leaks about some of the plans and the operation. This, of course, is also a constitutional um, concern. So that will be followed very closely, not only from all the cities of the UK, but from everyone around the world. Of course, within hours, Prince Charles, the eldest of her four children, um, will be, you know, proficient or formally proclaimed. Actually, I think legally he becomes king straight away. Uh, we see all around London flags flying at half-mast, and then this country will embark on this period of national mourning. So normal politics will pretty much be suspended, and we'll see a lot of more tributes flowing in from around the world, Taylor. And, and Francine, when we talk about what happens over the next 10 days with regards to folks paying their respects, uh, and I guess not only the formality, but uh, I guess uh, just some of the, uh, the, the sort of the accoutrements that they sort of put around this, uh, what can we expect here, particularly for those of us who are outside the UK looking in uh, and are always sort of fascinated by some of the displays uh, that we see when it comes to the monarchy and special events, whether it's a funeral or a wedding? You're absolutely right, Romaina, and this is what I have to say the UK does so well, and they always, always bring a nation together. Now, out of all the royals, uh, when you think about the Queen's life, this will be one of the most spectacular, I guess, mass mornings, because she was so loved. Now, by law, Charles, you know, becomes king the moment um, his mother died. Then we'll have a formal recognition. We had code names, so whether she died here in London or whether she died, of course, in Scotland, I think. I think we'll have more details in the next couple of hours or maybe tomorrow. What we know is that MPs will probably pay tribute to the new mark, you know, to, to the new mark monarch um, in the coming days. They will later swear an oath of allegiance to the new king. And there's something that, you know, like speaking to people here on the ground, is that she, of course, was the queen to um, all uh, UK, including Scotland. And when you have a new prime minister, um, when and you have also all of the belligerents that we saw in the Northern Ireland Protocol, it will be very powerful, because we talk about a second referendum in Scotland, to possibly see the Queen, um, and, or the coffin of the Queen, uh, Elizabeth II, lay in Scotland for a couple of days. And so there's talk that this is some of the processions and, and, and things put in place over the next couple of days. And then, of course, on day 10, that's when we have the state funeral, um, most probably at Westminster Abbey.